Hello everybody. Today at Foamworks we are going to be mudding a student's fish sculpture. And here's a bucket of polymer modified base coat adhesive. And what we do is just mix that with a little bit of water. And we get a nice paste to it. And the tools that we're going to be using, you can see, is our utility knife, a paintbrush, and a small putty knife. First, what we do is we take some of the fiberglass mesh and cut it into small strips and we'll be placing it onto the foam sculpture. And this is one of our students that will be mudding the <laughs> sculpture today. Corey Ray. So first we'll take some of the fiberglass mesh that we pre-cut to 8 inch by 2 inch strips. What we're going to do is put that into our mud. Now of course we're using rubber gloves because this is concrete and it will dry your hands out and doesn't feel very good. Not good for me. Okay, as you can see, we broke the mesh up by working it with our hands in the mud. We're going to put it back into the sculpture a little bit, into the mud, and get a good bit of goo on it. If you want to hold that down for me? What you basically do is put a coat of mud on it. area that you're going to mud. Then that butter side of that one. And we'll unroll it. And here if you want to take over, Tori. And we'll work that mess down into the mud and around the corners and curves of the sculpture. And we will just keep on doing that with more mesh. Depending on the size of your sculpture, um, it's good to have a couple people helping. It makes the job go a little faster, but at the same time you can do these little ones by yourself, or I'll let you take over, Tori. The foam is particularly light until you start getting a couple coats of concrete on it. And then the weight of the concrete usually helps you hold it down. 